YouTube, I got some updates on my boombox. Blowtorched EFF in there, very poorly. <laughs> so I got a new, uh, this is really all that's different. I got a new head unit for the boombox. And it's okay, you know, it's it was cheap. It's a boss head unit. It's the B, yeah, you guys can't say that. There you go. It's the BV7332B. You know, it's, it's alright. It's got USB capability, although this does not work with any of my phones or iPods, so, or phones, I only have one phone. This doesn't work with my phone or iPod, so I don't think it's powerful enough. It's probably only like 200 milliamps or something like that. So it can only run, or not run, it can only power a USB flash drive. So if you've got music on one of those, then that's really all that's good for. It is Bluetooth, but the Bluetooth sucks, so I use this, the aux cable, because that's really the only efficient way to do this. Um, so it does have multiple input sources, and we'll take a look at those. So you got your aux in, AV in, sat up, Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio, and it's, you know, oh yeah, it's got a radio too, huh? Yeah. It does, um, wait. Pull that out first. It does discs, so you can open this up and put your CD in. Or, you're going to love this. This is kind of funny. Okay. Really bassy. I'm Watch Mall. I'm Lionel Jr. And this is here today. It's November, which means no shaving and delicious Thanksgiving dinners. There is a couple. Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. So it does do DVDs, of course. That is a small screen you guys just saw there. It's kind of adorable. Come on, there you go. But it does have. Um, where are they? It does have external video output if you want to hook it to a TV or something. I don't know where it is. Right now it's like hidden away somewhere. It's it's in this bundle somewhere here. It might it might be that yellow one. It also has ABN, so if you wanted to you could like plug a PlayStation into it and play video games. Which is in there somewhere. So yeah, I don't have an antenna in, that's why you're hearing static. Also because we don't really get a lot of radio reception out here in the suburbs yeah anyways so it does ouch damn it ah uh, it's not always great being tall so here we've got a heat sink that I don't know I want to say it does its job but then sometimes it doesn't seem like it is like it does get very hot, which means it is doing its job, but the fact that it gets hot and stays hot kind of says that it really isn't doing its job. Like, I mean, if I, if I played this thing on loud volume long enough, you could actually burn someone's fingers with this heat sink, because it gets hot, and I don't know why something in here is getting so hot, so... I don't know how this would work out in your car. But, it is sitting in a poorly ventilated wooden box, so... I don't know, but you see, your car sits in the sun in the summer where it gets like 400 something degrees in there, so it'd definitely be getting hotter, so. You might want to watch temperatures or like put a fan back there or something if you're going to use this. <clears throat> I accidentally voided the warranty sticker sliding it in here because the wood actually cut the warranty sticker, so. Whatever. I wasn't planning on keeping this long. I was planning on getting one of those head units that has a little flip down screen. The whole thing's just like. A big flip down screen, and it's touch screen. And I was thinking about getting one of those. I actually found a really good deal on one. I can get one for like a hundred bucks, and view, the reviews on it are pretty decent. So, so I will do a sound. I will do a sound test for you guys because it is definitely the sound is definitely improved. I got my isobaric subwoofers right here. So, all right.
Also got a voltmeter for those of you who are seeing this for the first time. Also got these nice handles. They put duct tape on them so it doesn't you know hurt my fingers because 60 pounds resting on my fingers doesn't feel good. I've also got AC outlets, but my inverter's not in there, so they're not really doing anything because my inverter's serving a different purpose right now. So yeah, we will do a sound test now. Okay guys, here we go. You can probably hear the whole box rattling. To be honest with you guys, it's like, I mean, I cannot, I can barely hear the rattling of the box if I stand back a little bit. I know you guys probably can though. Sorry, but copyright law says I cannot go over 30 seconds, so whatever. Even if this gets flagged, they can't do anything because I'm still in, I'm still protected by the Fair Use Act, so they can't do anything. Copyright's no fun. So I got my battery in there backwards. This is a really f***ing beefy battery. My old unit, I could run for three days straight on that battery. This will probably go for about two days because it uses a little more power. But as far as I'm concerned, it's not using that much more power because I've only got a three amp fuse on here. Three amps. This fuse back here is rated for, I don't know, you guys tell me, huh? 10, 15, something like that. So it's not you know taking that much it's not taking nearly as much power as I thought it would it's probably using about the same now that I think about it but this unit is 80 watts per channel or at least that's what it claims it's probably not it's probably more like half that <clears throat> 80 watts is see these things are really measured by the peak power at a certain frequency for a certain amount of time so you would rarely get 80 watts per channel out of this thing if it can focus Damn camera on my piece of phone. I do the censoring for comical relief, guys. So, right. Here are the speakers. They're also boss. I try not to get too close to them because those have actually been able to shut the whole thing down. <laughs> too many magnets come in contact with my phone. It's not good for it. It's probably why my camera sucks. So yeah, it's got a clock and a voltmeter on it, and hmm, this is what I'm calling it. I'm calling it Mordecai Mark One. Mordecai Mark One. Now, probably you guys, you guys are probably wondering why I did this. Well, I did this because uh, what are the terminals? You can't see them. Okay, well, if you look down right there, you can see that those terminals are screws, and I don't want to have to keep screwing and unscrewing to unplug this thing, because this uses quite a bit of um, battery power if I just leave it in there like that. Actually, now that I think about it, i got to check the voltage of the battery. So we're going to shut this down. So it comes with a remote. If you want to change the equalizer, you have to press, not enter, you have to press select, and then it'll say volume, press select again, base treble, balance, fader, loud, bass, I mean, bass, subwoofer. So you just push that a couple times and it lets you go through the crossover. There is no mid-range though, and you cannot control the mid-range. It only lets you control the bass and treble, which is disappointing. But this thing was only like 70 bucks, so <laughs> you know, you get what you pay for, right? It did have white backlighting here, but that's actually gone because this faceplate is actually removable. And, um, yeah, it even came with a little case that it goes in. So this does have a removable faceplate. The problem with that is, these pins in here are very delicate. You'll notice that one right here is broken. Well, that was the one that powered the backlighting. Or, I mean, that was probably the positive or the ground for the backlighting. Tried fixing it, but those things are so delicate that it actually like broke off. It originally was just bent, but I bent it back, 
And it was all right, and I put it back in, the thing broke off. So they are very delicate, and you have to be very careful with them. So you have to push up here, because this is where the latch is. Don't push up from the middle of the screen to the side of the screen. When you push it back up, you have to push it back up by this corner. This um, bezel here is really cheap. In fact, it was broken out of the box. So, yeah. I guess there's nothing more to this review, so see you later.